Hello, everybody. My name is Dun Money. Welcome back. This is Armacrog, episode four, uh, where we're going to continue trying to solve these puzzles and figure out what the hell is going on in this world. Um, so I just put this lever in that when I pull, nothing happens. Um, that's where I'm currently at. It's been a while since I recorded episode three. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm, it might take me a minute to get my bearings again here. Hopefully, i done not too long. We need to figure that out why to get that powered. So, only clue I really have right now is this lightning bolt symbol here. That's telling me something. It's telling me that there needs to be power to this to get it to move, I believe. Because I can't actually get into it. And if I could just pull the lever and move this thing this way, I could ride it, hopefully. So I've seen that lightning bolt symbol, and I know where I saw that. I'm gonna go and see if I can figure that out. Let's get on this sucker. And let's write it down. I believe I saw the lightning bolt symbol in one of these rooms that you turn with the cranky thingy, turny thingy. So let's take a look. Not this room with the weird hanging guy from the ceiling. Turn the cranky thing. Let's find the other room. Turn it again. One more time. Still more. Seriously? All right. Let's go in here. Yes, this is where I saw the lightning bolt symbol. So let's press the switch. And his hair turned into a helicopter. But I get nothing. Get like a buzzer. That's no good. All right, well, we can go in here. And I think I've done this. I don't think this helps me. Yeah, I just get the symbol, which I've already kind of used. That was when I brute forced the, uh, the sliding puzzle. Okay, so that's not helpful. I need to figure out how to make that lightning bolt thingamabob do something. So I'm guessing since I can control the dog and the human thing independently here, that I need to do something with them separately. So let's take the dog and move him over here. Press that switch. Can I do anything with this machine? Now I'm going to just start clicking, spam clicking, because it did help me with the other puzzle where I couldn't find that lever on the ground. Doesn't seem to be helping here, though. What is this thing? There seems to be something missing from this slot. I don't know. All right, I am stumped on this. Anything on the ground? Can I go in there with him? No, I can't. And I can't push the switch as him either. Okay. Well, I see the lightning bolt switch, so that's telling me I'm going to have to do that. I still have this area over here that I can go into if I have my doggy pal step on the switch. And I have not solved this area. Oops, no, no, doggy pal, step on the switch. Okay, and I have not solved this area yet. No, no, wait, beak, beak. Beak, beak. Back on the switch, beak, beak. go in here. So I have not yet solved this, and there's a glowy thing there that I would like to get. There's a lever here that turns this on, and it looks like it would probably suck things up into this if I could place something there. And I'd like to press that switch, because it'll do something with the swirly symbol, I'm guessing. But to do that, I'm guessing I need to activate this. There's so much to this. And this thing is locked down. And it won't unlock for me. Is this the Abraham Lincoln puzzle? Oh, there's that symbol again, the lightning symbol I need. Hmm. Nothing doing, nothing doing. 
I am stymied. I have no clue. I can stand on this platform. If I could throw something at the switch. There's no way for me to hit it and get over there fast enough to actually have something happen. Yeah, it shuts off way too fast. Okay. Well. It doesn't look like that's it. That's it. Let's go listen to Abraham again, because I don't think I've used that piece of the puzzle. Actually, you know, let's crank this a few more times. Because I think that symbol appears when that's there, and that turns that crystal light on with the southwest ding uh, sound when you need a flight attendant. So, step the dog there. Now, that symbol's there. Thanks, little buddy. And let's try it again. I think I've done this. Does that symbol being highlighted unlock this? No. Doesn't unlock this. And it doesn't help me with that. So while it would seem to think that that little symbol being highlighted in the ding sound is like a good thing, it doesn't seem to be helping me. Well, let's go back down. This is Abraham. Now, I have not used his clue yet. Greetings, friend. I am Abraham Lincoln. One, two, one, two, three, one. And three different lines. I still don't know what that means. I've solved this puzzle. Yeah, this whole tourney puzzle I did. That's done. This is so weird. Greetings, friend. I know, Abraham. I am Abraham Lincoln. Circle, click, 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 click. It's like I'll pause before that last one. I wonder if I'm reading way too much into this. Can the dog do anything special here? No, there's nothing really he can find. Hmm. Well, let's step on this again, and let's just try the click clicks on the, the to see if that'll unlock it. Basically, because I'm all out of ideas, and so I'm I'm grasping at straws. Click click. Click click click. Click. Click click. Click click click. Oops. Click click. Click click click. Click. Click click. Click click click. Click. Click click. Click click click. Click. Nothing. Nothing. Man. This game may be outsmarting me, and I don't like it. I don't like feeling dumb, and this game's making me feel so dumb. I can't figure this out. I have no idea what Abraham is trying to tell me. What happens when I pull this lever? Nothing good, right? Tries to shut a door here that can't be shut because of the furry object. Can the dog go through this area? No. Is there something back here? No, nothing that the dog can interact with. All is in your hands now. The threshold has been crossed. I don't know what that means. I am struggling. Let me hit this light switch. That doesn't do anything for me except show that symbol, which I don't... I don't know what that symbol even 
What? What does it mean? I wonder if someone who's actually beaten this game or that knows what I'm missing here is just screaming at the uh, computer screen right now. Just, done money, you're dumb! And I'm like, yeah, I, I know I'm dumb. I, I can't figure this out. I'm sorry that I'm dumb. I would like to not be dumb. But as far as I know, I'm not, I don't see anything that I'm missing. Can I get the dog to... Whoop, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Beak, beak. Can beak, beak... Go into this. No, beak, beak cannot... Can beak, beak pull this lever? No, this lever doesn't do anything for me right now. Hmm... We've just got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am stumped. And so I hate to do this, but in the interest of actually, like, keeping things moving forward, I might have to go and use a guide uh, and figure out just the next step. I'm not going to look up the whole thing. We're just going to go one step. So uh, I'll put some, like, weird, funny thing here uh, to show that I'm actually, like, a waste of space and having to use a guide to get through this game. Uh, but uh, short pause and Don Money will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. So I think what I missed was a small thing. Uh, what it looks like I missed was something I could pick up with Beak Beak um, and that I missed picking up. So let's rotate this back to the red room and see what we can find. And then we'll move forward. So I don't, I have not looked up the rest of the game. I just looked up how the hell to get past where I'm struggling right now. So I went back in this red room and I noticed that Beak Beak could go through that small opening, which I will do now. Go, Beak Beak, go. And then what I read tells me that there is. I think if I click on this, there should be a video. What the hell is going on? I don't even know what to say here. <laughs> this just keeps going. I hear the word Armacrog a lot. Oh, 
Kasete Raya Gojaba Ra Aslavia Dare Apag Ojaba and I have subtitles on, so this isn't even a matter of the subtitles. There, this is gibberish. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And then that threw that thing to me that dog dog can pick up. Dog dog. Beak beak. Okay, so that trippy ass video is the thing that I apparently missed by clicking on the octopus tentacle thing at the top of the rope. Um, I have no idea what the hell that was supposed to be. Uh, but I've now picked up the object that I was supposed to pick up. Uh, one other interesting thing. Cough it up, cough it up. So one other interesting thing that I got by um, looking on the guide is that apparently all the images and things for the puzzles I'm solving are um, randomized to each individual game. Which is really kind of cool, actually. All right, now that's in there. Now let's have Beak Beak click the switch. Sweet. So that's now going. Now I bet that that uh, tram thing is going to work. So we are right back on track. You know, little little side there to go get a guide, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And I, I'm not even gonna feel that bad about it because what I missed was bringing Beak Beak here and then clicking on this guy to get a trippy video. Let's pull the lever. There we go. There we go. Now we're in the machine. Let's go forward. Let's go down. Let's go all the way around this weird shape thing and go down here. Let's go to the end of the line. Oh, and I get another image. Blank, blank. This, okay. So when I brute forced that puzzle to solve it because I didn't know where the third image was, here it is. That's totally what that is. So I got lucky to brute force that puzzle, but now at least I know how it should have been done. Is I should have found this first. Okay. So that feels good that I wasn't just missing that third piece because I was dumb. Um, that third piece, I just hadn't found it yet because I didn't have access to it. So let's go the other way. And now that third piece then allowed me to solve this puzzle. That's what I solved when I actually brute forced it, which now allows me to have a track through here and allows me to move this way. We are back on track, ladies and gentlemen. Armacrog, right back on it. So that's totally what happened, is that I, I should have found that piece first and brute forced it. Now I can't go up there because that's turned the wrong way, but let's go in here and see what happens. Okay, let's go back out. Let's go there again. Okay, and now that's got it correct. Let's go down here and just see what this is. Oh, another one I can't do. Okay, so we'll go all the way over here, and we'll go up here. So solving a little maze thing. I can handle that. So, I like this. The game, the art style is really good. The uh, the puzzle solving is interesting. I don't like the random having to click on things and not miss them. That's a little frustrating. All right, so we've made it to a new zone. Let's click on this thing. Holy crap. Oh, it's a slidey puzzle. Okay, I can handle this though. So this is going to be me having to put all these pieces together to make this dude um, on the bottom. That's what this is. And I can move one piece at a time, like so. Okay. Well, I can handle this. But you know what? I will handle this on the next episode of Army Krog. So thanks for watching. We have figured out uh, what we missed. We figured out how to figure out what we had missed. And we've made progress. 
I know I had to check out a guide, but you know what? That's how I roll. Thanks for watching, uh, and I will be back with episode five of Army Krog. Bye, guys.